Is the GAN 13 maglev too expensive? What well, duh! We might have the solution. We have the GAN 13 maglev FX and whatever this is. Find out in a future video. We have the classic cube station card, a non-black accessories box, and the same magnetic box for the cube. How to tension the cube, this GAM pamphlet, and a cube bag. It comes with a frosted finish. Let's do some first turns. It feels good. However, uh, you might be wondering why this cube costs $20 less than this cube. Well, let's take a deeper look and find out. And at the same time, see which one you should get. First of all, this cube still has the same levels of adjustment for the axis distance and spring compression. The internal piece design is also still identical to the $84 version. The corner magnets, edge magnets, and magnetic core still exist despite the lower price tag. So that's equal points for both cubes so far. Now we have to reassemble the cube back together. However, the difference lies within the corners. Do you see it? The FX does not come with adjustable magnets, which perhaps now loses the battle? No, it ties it up again with its lighter body. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to the performance. Doing salts on the GAN 13 Maglev FX is just as enjoyable as on the normal version. Personally, I prefer having stronger magnets, but with the magnet strap not being adjustable for this cube, it definitely puts it at a disadvantage. But if you are okay with medium magnet strength and like lighter cubes, definitely give it a try. Overall, I do get better times with the normal version, which basically concludes that perhaps the $84 version is indeed still better. But is the slightly better performance worth the extra $20? No.